Hey, Facebook friends. Happy Monday evening. I am in my favorite local Hobby Lobby store and I'm going to show you my top 10 finds for fall decor at Hobby Lobby tonight. So right off the bat, I just want to thank Hobby Lobby for sponsoring this video. And these 10 things are in no particular order. Okay, but I've got some really fun things to share with you. So I'm just gonna wait here just a second, make sure we've got decent Wi-Fi. If you could just say hello as you come on, that will help me to know. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Flipping the camera back around, my friends. Hang tight here, we've got this. We've got this. Um, all right, hang on as Hmm, what's happening? <laughs> Hang on, y'all. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's coming back. Okay. Um, all right. So, hi, guys. Okay, we're working. Yay. So, I'm in my local Hobby Lobby. And um, you guys know that I have been frequenting Hobby Lobby from the beginning of time. Um, Ava Baby, our daughter, used to call it the Hobbly Lobbly. So, we are regulars up in here. I need you to know that fall is my favorite time of the year. And so, fall shopping top of the priority list okay top of the priority list so I've got my top 10 things that I just found at Hobby Lobby that I'm gonna see if I can maybe let's see if I can I should have probably brought um, nope I'm gonna have to just hold the phone um, and I'll just show them to you one by one no particular order hi guys if you wouldn't mind sharing this video um, if you find anything interesting Hobby Lobby and I would love it okay ready here we go let's go through things one by one number one somebody's gonna have to help me number these because otherwise I'm gonna forget I've got way more than 10 in my cart okay Number one favorite finds are these little, well, they're not even all little. They're, um, I can't show you my whole cart because then you're gonna see everything. Okay, so they're, they're these baskets. And I mean, you can see them in comparison to my foot. They're not humongous. Um, but let me tell you what I do with these guys, okay? I have these sitting in my bathroom right now with a plant sitting inside of. I have another one going in for like extra rolls of toilet paper. Um, I put a one just in the center of the kitchen with like um, utensils coming out of. So if you're like, I need a quick way to make my house feel fallish, um, mums aren't in bloom yet, how can I just get some fall color up in my house? These things are really inexpensive. Let me tell you how much they are. Hi guys. Uh, they're $9.99 and you know they're on sale. So I believe they are 40% off. Do not quote me on that. But 40% off, $10, makes them six. Six dollars. So there you go. That is item number one, okay? The rusty colored buckets. We're we just gonna call them buckets. Okay, item number two. And again, you guys are gonna have to help me keep numbered. So somebody help me remember that this is item number two. Okay, real quick, my friends. Hang on, I feel like my camera is dirty so hold tight there that's better okay um i need you to not laugh at me but who remembers a nut bowl from their grandparents growing up anybody anybody remember a nut bowl and did your grandparents every like holiday season put out a bowl of mixed nuts and then of course the little tongy tong things you know where you crack the nuts you know what i'm talking about and then the little ice picks that you could either stab your brother with or pick the brazil nuts out you guys know what i'm talking about right the old nut bowls okay this is a fun twist on an old nut bowl so is that not the cutest thing that you have ever seen hi laura she says it <laughs> it's my dream her and i and hobby lobby together thank you laura you're sweet this is my item number two, favorite things. Let me figure out the price for you, $19.99. Do not quote me, but I believe it was also on the 40% off rack. So that is item number two, a nut bowl. You gotta have a nut bowl around the holidays. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't have a bowl of walnuts and pecans sitting out in the spring, but we do all winter long. So, okay, item number three. Can y'all say three and help me stay on task here? So, um, let me get back where I can, I'm not sure what this is called. To all of my wreath making friends, will you tell me what they call these things? I believe it's called a swag, but I'm uncertain. Are you ready? All right, hang on. So item number three are these things that hang like this, like from your lights. Like we have those lights in our garage. Do you know what I mean? Does everybody have lights on their garage or is it just a Kansas City thing? So we have two big light fixtures. Um, 
one on one side of the garage door, one on the other, and this hanging from it would be splendid. It's also half of my height. Let's see. Which doesn't take much when you are four foot three, like me. Okay, I'm taller than four foot three. But I'm saying that to say it's huge. Is it called a swag? A swag, yes, Lisa, thank you. I love this. So let me do this up for you. And I apologize in advance to Hobby Lobby. I will pick it up. Okay, so isn't that cute? Two of those hanging, because they have the hanging. Uh-oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Hobby Lobby. Um, Facebook Live's not like liking me switching my phone position. So it has the hangy thing already on it, which makes me love it. So that was item number three, right? Yes, number one was the buckets. Number two was the squirrel. Number three is the swag. At Hobby Lobby, I will clean up my mess. I will put everything back. Okay, item number four. I took French, by the way, in high school. And the other day I was thinking to myself, I no longer remember how to count in French. And that's disappointing to me. Because if I could, I would count in French right now for you. Um, I don't know why, other than just to impress you. Okay, this is adorable. So, um, you know how I don't cook. Okay, let me just preface this. This is a decor item for me. This is not a practical thing. So, item number four is this. So these are designed to sit on your countertop and put a cookbook in. Now listen, if you just opened up a cookbook to an apple pie recipe, everybody's gonna think you're amazing. Everybody's gonna think you cook. Everybody's gonna think you're like all American wife, that you have a cookbook out and that you've got it sitting in a cute cookbook holder. And the only person that'll know that it's just all for decoration is me and you. It's like, we're right here, babe, we're right here. So stinking cute is this right I mean is that adorable or what it's got the little thing in the back and I know you always ask me pricing so $13.99 and it's on sale it is on sale <laughs> I'm so honest Lisa Hagen there's no other way to be big so that is item number what my friends one two three it's like it's like the 10 days of fall with me and Hobby Lobby so yep the or number four thank you so much oh wait trisha says they're made for ipads now not cookbooks trisha who's a top fan by the way because she comments all the time i don't think that i knew that i'm feeling like i should have known that so that so you could have your ipad on to an apple pie recipe that's amazing that they do it for ipads how smart is that okay so forgive me that i didn't even know I still just, I still go with the old-fashioned cookbook. Okay, so what number are we on? That was number four, right? That was number four? Okay, item number five. Oh, I, I'm showing it. Um, how many of you know what I have decorated in front of my hearth room fireplace with? The majority of you, if you followed me for any length of time, know that I have um, a cluster of candlesticks. Number one, if you can just say cluster in a sentence where it makes sense and you're not talking about like peanut clusters, and chocolate and calories and carbs, then I just think you sound smart. So it's a cluster of candlesticks, which is really fun to say. If you even type it out, it just sounds fun. Cluster of candlesticks. It's a cluster of candlesticks. So these are so cute to add to my candlestick cluster. Okay, this is item five or six, one of the two. Let me show you. Hang on. Um, I wish I had them sitting in a better position for you. There we go, the lighting, nope. Lighting's actually better here. Okay, thank you, iPhone. All right, so tell me those are not so cute. Now, give me just a second here, my friends, and I'm gonna show you what I found. This one, off scale, hang on, hang on, hang on. But I found some others that I were like, oh, I need to take the candles off of my candlesticks for now and instead decorate them with those. Are those not cute? That is so cute. That one's too tall. Not too tall, too too wide. But that's stinking cute. And I love it. So if ever you're in doubt, what do I put in front of my fireplace? How do I make it look cute? I'm telling you, just go for a cluster of candlesticks. These candlesticks, let me show you the price because I know you're going to ask. Um, This one is $14.99. 
and I believe they're either 40 or 50% off. Don't forget you have a 40% off coupon, so they'll always be something. So those are super cute. Just get a whole bunch of those things and you'll look really fancy. This one's $19.99, but also at the bare minimum, 40% off. So some fast math, $20 times 40% is $8 off, which makes it 12 bucks. So there you go. And then, um, okay, so that was item number what? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so item number six, I just kind of cheated on and showed you a little bit. Item number six are the velvet pumpkins. Friends, okay, so remember when I went through that whole stage where I was like glittering pumpkins um, at my kitchen table like nightly? I'm so in your way, I'm so sorry. I can scooch over. Hang on, we've got, we've got customers. You guys wanna be on Facebook? Live, are you sure? You. There's just two people watching. Oh, you, just, you gonna create stuff? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, there's a few more than two of you, but. Okay, so velvet pumpkins. Um, I loved my whole glittering phase, but I gotta tell you something. Sometimes you get to a point where um, you just wanna buy the stuff already done and you wanna be able to have it for next year. I had somebody DM me on Instagram this week and she said the old Jennifer would have glittered that herself. And I'm like, well, the 2018 Jennifer is short on time but big on fancy, so I'm just gonna buy it already glittered. So, um, so let me not show you that one exactly. Let me show you this one. So we'll make this number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we at number six? Look at that. I mean, let me show you this. That's, that's adorable. And then I would have it every year and not have to go back out and re-get them and re-glitter them. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. That is $16. It's gonna be 40% off. So you can do the math there. That's 10 bucks or something. Love that. Okay, that's item number. Are we on number six or number seven, my friends? But then we've also got this one, the velvet pumpkins. If you guys have not seen what I've been doing in my house with velvet pumpkins, I've been showing it on Instagram. But this is item seven. Velvet pumpkins are all the rage, I'm telling you. And when we're done here with my top things, I will just kind of walk you through their fall section. Because look, they have like different sizes of these. They also have different colors. But I'm absolutely like in love with the velvet. It just adds such a great idea. Oh, I'm so glad. I like my ideas. Okay, so number six was the pumpkins. Okay. Hi there. Am I bothering you? No, you're Okay. Fine. Let's all say hello. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go with, related to the velvet pumpkin, let's do, is, are we on number eight now? These are my favorite glittered ones from Hobby Lobby. Okay, let me show you. So, so stinking cute, so stinking glittery. I got to give you guys a tip though, okay? If you're going to buy a pumpkin that's glittered and put it somewhere in your home, put it somewhere where the sunlight hits. Will you promise me? And then I literally want you to DM me a picture of it. Um, usually on Instagram is a better place to DM me. Uh, even hashtag Hobby Lobby. Do a hashtag with them because when you put a pumpkin like this in a spot where the sunlight comes in, like in our house, late afternoon is the best time. We have a whole bread bowl full of like um, velvet pumpkins and a few glittered ones and the light dances off this. Will you guys believe me? I know that sounds like a really sappy like 80s love song. The light dances off of the pumpkin, but I promise you, it just makes like your whole room sparkle. And so this is either item number eight or number nine, but it's absolutely adorable and so stinking cheap. Hang on, I'll show you. So that's the price at 40% off $5, which makes it three bucks. And that is my fast math for you people. So for $3, you can have it already glittered or, I mean, I think there's seasons, you know? For everything, there's a season. And there was a season when I could sit and glitter pumpkins every year. That season is long gone, my friend. So I'm gonna buy the glittered ones. Okay, so I kind of cheated on this one. Are we on number eight or number nine? Myrna says I need to wrap that. Don't, don't, don't double dog dare me to break out with some ice ice baby right here in the hobbly lobbly. Okay, I cheated on item number nine. Are we on item number eight or nine? Um, and DM me on Instagram for those of you that are asking because I won't see it on Facebook, but I'll see it on Instagram for item number nine I'm supposed to be showing like my top ten fall things But I cheated and I walked over 
to the Christmas aisle. So listen, those of you who were like, eh, hey, why do they have Christmas stuff up already? They have Christmas stuff up already for people like me, all of the friends that I have that are in like my coaching group who are bloggers, who are DIYers, who make things and then they put them on their website for sale or Etsy for sale, or they're doing, you know, um, the weekend craft shows for sale. So they put stuff out right after the 4th of July so that makers like me and all my friends can start making immediately and thank you guys for sharing this by the way we're at 1500 people watching live which makes me really wish that I had done a better job back combing my hair but thank you for sharing this I love you when you share um, so anyway that's why they have Christmas stuff out already now in a typical creative fashion um, you know Hobby Lobby's like show us your favorite things in the fall section and I had to walk to the to the Christmas section because it's like a magnet to the it's a moth to the flame I saw glitter and I saw fur and I couldn't stop myself from going to the Christmas aisle for item number nine. Okay, you guys. <laughs> These pillows that are in the Christmas, what you'd call the Christmas aisle, are divine. Let me, let me flip my phone so you can see it. Okay. I mean, come on. Who, who loves animal print? This girl. When I tell you that this thing is so soft and that it's going home with me, please believe me, because nothing says fall and winter like fur pillows. Best way you can quickly dress up your living room for the holidays is get some pillows in there. But the cool thing about fur is they go through fall and they are applicable for winter, right? So who else loves glitter and fur? Right, Jenny? I'm telling you, glitter and the fur. Hi there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, st I'm cheating in Hobby Lobby today and I'm standing near the front of the store because I didn't want to lose reception going to the center of the store like I did last time. So for pillows, are we on number nine? Or are we on number eight? Or are we on number 10? Because the next thing that I'm showing you is like, I put it together in the aisle and I need you to know that, I, that it's cute. Okay, it's stinking cute. All right, talk amongst yourselves for one moment before I show you what I did. Okay, are you talking amongst yourselves? Hi there, no, you can come this way. I'll move my stash, come on down. Just say hello to my friends on the Facebook. There you go, thank you so much, you're awesome. I like your t-shirt too, um, she gave us a thumbs up. Okay, so let me show you, um, I think this might be, we'll call it eight and a half, because I don't know if I'm on eight or nine or 10. All right, check this out. You guys have seen my Red Bull, right? So this is not a bread bowl per se, but it's cute enough that it could be a bread bowl. Okay, so look at, let me show you this thing. It's wood, let's check the price because I know you're gonna ask, the price is not there. Let me see here, price is $34.99, but you know that it is either half off or 40% off. Okay, what I love are the beads. The beads are just absolutely adorable. Okay, so. We've got this cuteness, right? So I wanna show you then, if you go over to the aisle that has all these picks, and a lot of you guys that are wreath makers, you're gonna think, um, why is she getting picks? Well, because I like to buy stuff like this and take Jason's gardening shears and I just snip the end off. So clearly I can't snip stuff off here in the aisle of Hobby Lobby, but I can at least kind of show you how I had this all put together. Okay. Michael, I'm glad that I'm your favorite dork. Thank you. I take pride in that. I don't care in the least. Okay, so go to the pick section, which means everything you find is going to have a stabber on it. Okay, it could be a weapon. You could kill people with it. Instead, you're going to just clip off the bottom of this. Now, I can't do that in Hobby Lobby, but I'm going to just bend it for the sake of showing you guys how to put this together. Okay, so I just bent it to the side. This one, I bent to the side. This big one, I already bent to the side. And can you guys see where this is headed? I mean, this is stinking cute. But then, I feel like an infomercial. But wait, there's more. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm, when you're trying to decorate on the fly, by the way, um, it makes you a little nervous. But check this out, ready? Look at these, which are my item number, what would these be? Item number 10, I'm gonna say yes. They're calling them a fall garland. They're $8.99, 40% off. So that's like $3.60 off. 
and I'm just trying to wow you with my math right now. But these layered amongst this, obviously pretend that that tag is not on there. You guys, that's cute. Look, look at how cute this is. Look at how cute that is. Obviously that doesn't look like it should, but I can't really take it apart without damaging the merchandise that I have not purchased. That's adorable. I don't care who you say. That's super cute. I'm absolutely loving it. So I think the beads go well with this, even though they're a different color. If you have this on a table in the living room next to these pillows, amazing, amazing. I'm obsessed with beads. So Linda, I totally agree with you. And the last item, just in case you need a little more fluff in a bread bowl, are these things. So remember with me, I think this might be item number 27, I don't know. And I'm probably gonna show you a couple more things because I just, I love shopping at Hobby Lobby. Um, how many of you know my favorite thing that I like to put in my fall decor, big green balls? that we call in Missouri hedge apples. Now I think some of you guys call them other things. I'm trying to remember now what it is. Osage orange, is that what is that what you call them? Osage orange, I think that's one thing that I've heard. And I think there's other terms for hedge apples. Well listen, some of you will remember when I was putting a bunch of hedge apples in a bread bowl on my dining room table a while back. And tell me if somebody comes up, with you? Because I don't wanna be a, I don't wanna be a stumbling block in the Hobby Lobby aisle, um, like a literal stumbling block because the floor is a little bit decorated right now. So how many of you remember I put like 20 of those hedge apples in a bread bowl? We were all like, oh, it's so cute. It's a pop of color. Then how many of you remember them starting to leak? How many of you remember them starting to like leak? I guess the only word I can come up with that's appropriate. So so then I have like the the leakage from the hedge apples all over in my dining room. Do you remember that? And do you remember it was drawing fruit flies and it was like so disgusting and I screamed on a Facebook Live. Okay, really good alternative to that is just buying something like this that has that same lime green color without the fruit flies. Gosh, I'm smart, right? I mean, come on. So there you go, guys. Um, if you want, I can just walk you up and down the Hobby Lobby aisle real quick. Um, give me a yes if that's what you're hoping for. And yes, Jamie, sometimes they call them spider balls because they are supposed to repel spiders. Let me tell you though, they'll repel spiders, but they will draw in fruit flies. So, you know, there's that. Did I get to all 10 things? Yes, you remember the bugs, Megan. Thank you. Everybody remembers the bugs in my house. <laughs> you know, you never want to be remembered for bugs. I just, just want you to know that. Um, who wants me to walk through the Hobby Lobby aisles? Please just say yes. Yes, okay, let me show you a couple things in the fall section, alrighty? And Hobby Lobby, I will put, I will put it all back, I promise. Okay, hang on. Um, let me show you some other things that didn't make the top 10, but are still really cute. These are adorable. They're in the candle section, and they are bright gold, which means they also smell really well, okay? Let me show you a couple other things. Hobby Lobby has really upped its candle game this year. So they've got all sorts of things that are like this, the buttery pumpkin, which I mean, in terms of just color for like a powder bath or something, look at this buttery pumpkin. Adorable, adorable. Okay, Claudine says walk around and give her her fix. All right, I will. You've already seen that I love the velvet. So let's keep going from there. And if you guys see something you need me to stop on and talk about, let's do that. Um, in fact, let's stop right here. So. Um, I think it was two years ago for Thanksgiving. I went on um, local television and we did a whole segment for Thanksgiving. Do you guys remember my television segment where we were doing, hi there. Hi. Are you coming through on this end? No, it's okay. Are you sure? Because yeah. I can move my cards. Okay, all right, thank you. I am talking to a few friends. It looks like I'm just talking to nothing but the phone, but I why, promise there's why people. Why do you have your stuff on the phone? Um, because I'm showing them off for Hobby Lobby on a Facebook Live video. So yeah, they've asked me to demonstrate my top favorite things. You wanna go check them out? <laughs> you like that pillow, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she loves the fur pillow. Okay, so who remembers when I went on TV, local television, and I did a segment on disposable um, plates for the holidays because what it was ending up happening at our house is I just felt like, who wants to do dishes? I mean, 
my I don't think my grandmother would care that we used paper plates. In fact, I'm pretty sure Grandma Beeson doesn't care. So these were the paper plates I took on TV because they're fancy, you guys. They're fancy. So if you have this for your plates, which are super coppery, these, I wonder why I've got a light on. Hang on here. Something just happened and the light's on on my phone. That's weird. Like, see how I've got a light on? I don't even know how I did that. Huh. Um, these are little appetizer plates, and then you can easily take the cute plastic silverware. Okay, go with, go with me. Okay, go with me. Take the cute silverware, wrap it in, you know, some cute napkin that looks halfway fancy. Put it in the napkin with one of those cinnamon sticks that you're supposed to like put in your coffee, but nobody really does. You're supposed to put it in your hot cocoa. Honey, they're just for looks. But wrap the utensils with one of those long cinnamon sticks that you can get also here at Hobby Lobby. Wrap it up with some twine and call that decorated. Your table is decorated for Thanksgiving. Seriously, I'm all about that paper plate life. So, okay, let's keep looking here. By the way, how cute is that? Also, by the way, how cute is that? Made me a glittered one. All right, we're gonna stick with the, we're gonna stick with the fall decor though. Um, I have this as the um, bathroom, like, what do you want to call it? Soap thing. God bless you. Did you hear that? God bless you. <laughs> Hang on. All right. So this we have in our bathroom for a soap dispenser this time of year. Super cute. Um, if you are into baking at all, let me just tell you, these are adorable with the squirrels and the nuts. And you can make muffins and have me over this adorable i love that plate and then i did want to show you guys this line um there may come a time when all of us get tired of having words on everything but that time is not now my friends so for right now i'm still on the bandwagon of all things gold with words on them these though are super heavy these are made of stone a great paperweight also a deadly weapon if you have intruders in the nighttime super cute so Loved these pillows. Kathy says now she has to go to a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you like my shoes, Lisa. Thank you. And Nancy Ava would love those muffins. So I do like that they really got a lot of owl things in their fall decor this year and the black gingham. So if you're on the gingham train, um, those are super duper cute. So Vanessa, I do know you can go to HobbyLobby.com and order most of these things. I don't know if you have been to their website, but you might try that. And don't forget to use your 40% off coupon when you're there. So this was the aisle I was telling you guys that I come to and I cheat. So instead of going to buy a bunch of little white pumpkins, I'll buy a bunch of these and I'll just cut that off the bottom. And nobody will even know that they were from what I call the pick aisle at Hobby Lobby. What do you guys call this aisle? I call it the pick aisle. I mean, these are so inexpensive. This is $8, but by the time you take the 40% off, that's 40% off of eight bucks, so it's 320 off of $8, which makes it 480. Is that the fast math? Because if I can't do math, I can't do much. And so for $4, then you have it every year instead of it dying. So there is that. Here's where I got the swag over here in this general area. Oh, I did think these were cute. I, didn't, I wasn't sure how, what to do with them, but if you guys have an idea. Yes, Yolanda, they do have. You can go to HobbyLobby.com, and you can absolutely order this stuff online, and you can use your coupon. So, don't look at the Christmas things, only at the fall things. So, lots of cute things here for the table. More of the glittered pumpkins. So, don't make sure you're looking for the glittered pumpkins in the party aisle and not the like regular decor aisle. Also, can we just have a moment of silence for the fuchsia one? Come on now. Just a moment of silence. And I did notice that they brought in some scarves this season, which I thought was cute. So. All right, guys. Darlene says, where do you get the coupon? If you go to HobbyLobby.com, there should be a button you can click on the top for coupon. And, um... And if you um, have a Hobby Lobby local to you, it should be in, like, aren't they in the Sunday paper in the flyer? I think so. I don't actually work for Hobby Lobby, so um, I would need to ask their corporate office for you. But was that fun, guys? What was your favorite thing? Tell me your favorite thing that I showed. And I'm going to show you them again um, one last time here, okay? So we looked at the swag. We looked at the 
orange buckets to put anything in. I've got a bunch of plants in my house um, and toilet paper in the bathroom. We looked at the nut bowl, which reminds me of my grandparents. We looked at the glittered pumpkins, the fur pillows. I showed you this super cute like bread bowl with the beads, with all these picks in them. We looked at the acorns in place of the hedge apples that will leak, the glittered pumpkin, the gather thing, which I thought was just for a cookbook, but you guys are all super smart and told me it's also for an iPad because hashtag, I should know that, hashtag I'm 47, hashtag thank you for being smarter than me. And then we have the really cool candlesticks, which looked super cute when I um, had pumpkins on the top of them. So I hope that was fun, you guys. Um, and yeah, you can download the Hobby Lobby app. You can also just go to HobbyLobby.com and find the coupon there. And um, thanks, guys, for being here. And if this was fun, I'd love it if you shared it with people. Um, the new Facebook algorithm is making it just harder and harder for people to see content unless it's shared. So if you would share it for me, that would really be a blessing. So, all right, guys, have a great night. I got to go to the checkout line. All right, bye-bye.